Hey y'all, what's up? It's Logan Browning and I am hanging out with you at Baller Alert. And now every day of my life I ball. Oh, 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 oh. You star in my favorite Netflix show <laughs> ever. My favorite. Yes, you guys won me over. You got me from Orange is a New Black, but don't tell them that. Um, <laughs> Sure you tell that to all the shows. <laughs> I actually do, right? But no, um, so I wanted to know, before you, t did you see the movie before you went on and did the show? Of course, yeah. I had seen the film um, way before the Netflix series uh, came to be. And then, of course, once the show, once I was on the show, it was important for me to watch um, Tessa Thompson's performance and and just to understand the tone of the show, you know? Yeah, definitely. And I like how the show I don't want to say it picks up where the movie left off. It's kind of part of the movie. It just kind of expands on it. But um, did this? Did any of this um, kind of reflect your life in any at all? Like your character? Um, I will say I have identity struggles, and and uh, and in that way I do relate to Sam. Uh, it was. It's been a joy to explore that, and I really hope in a season two we explore that even more. Just like where she comes from, what it's like to be, you know, fueled by 200 years of rage and 200 years of guilt so or over 200 years really um, I'm really interested in that and and who she was when she walked into Winchester who she is now as a revolutionary and what else what else makes her up you know she's not just the movement she is a person she's a human she's a woman so I'm really interested to find like what is that? What? Who is she? And I've noticed just a, with a lot of your interviews, you kind of have, have adopted that. You're almost a little, a little revolutionary yourself. So <laughs> I've noticed you've done interviews and stuff like that where you really speak on certain issues that we're having right now. What is something that you think that we as a people need in order to progress in society, whether it's black people or just people in general? Um, I think all people just need to listen to each other. I think the most... so unprofessional. I'm like, hey. Uh, I think we need to listen to each other. It sounds so simple, but just listening to everybody's experiences. We all have such individualized experiences, and the more that we can understand someone else's life and perspective and say, oh, wow, that's, that's yours, that's your experience, and have compassion, then it helps us to navigate and understand each other um, and to be educated. Education is the key to freedom. It is our freedom. So we all have to uh, continue to just educate our young people, push college, push higher learning. Um, that, is, that is the key to success.